Hello, and welcome back to the Whiskey Concierge Whiskey Calendar for 2021. I'm Andre Roy, a certified whiskey ambassador, and I'm here to help you enjoy all of the drams we're going to have right through till Christmas Day. Now, yesterday's dram was quite good, and, and wasn't it nice for Cody Reynolds to join us and, and give us those great stories about how they do things there? Today, we're going to something very different. We are going to talk about Pete's Beast. And Pete's Beast is a newish comer to the game of whiskey. They've been around 10 years. They say they, they were created back in, in 2011, um, uh, but they don't have the history of a whole bunch of the, uh, the other distillers. But it doesn't mean their product is any less good. As a matter of fact, as you're about to find out, uh, nothing could be further than the truth. Um, they're kind of that newish gang where they don't want to do things the traditional old way in forms of uh, maybe marketing and labeling and whatever. But their whiskey, ooh, that's a whole different story. They too respect their whiskey tremendously and they put out a great, great product. Now, where is it from? Where is it from? Well, whenever I hear Pete used to describe a whiskey or if it's on the label, I automatically think of that beautiful island on the west coast of Scotland called Isla. Um, it's not always an Isla peated whiskey, as we've already found out. We have some uh, peated whiskeys from uh, Speyside and, and, and a whole bunch of other places. But uh, generally, in my case anyway, when I hear Pete, I think Isla. So is Pete's Beast an Isla whiskey? You know, I don't know. And uh, they ain't telling. So I guess it's up, us, up to us to taste it and figure out where it's from. And ultimately, does it matter exactly where it's from? If it's a great crack and dram, don't care where it's from. But let's take a look at what these people do that are a little bit different as uh, most of the new people do. First of all, I want to show you their logo. Look at this thing. It's brilliant. This is Pete's Beast. The Beast from the Peat. Oh my goodness. Now, some of you may be seeing these things in your nightmares, but if you're a peat lover like I am, I see this guy in my dreams. I can't get enough peat. I think it's absolutely wonderful that they are doing things that are different and uh, getting people to try new, uh, new whiskeys. So let's talk about what it is that they do. Um, they started uh, about 10 years ago, 2011, and they started off with today's offering. By the way, here's uh, today's offering here. Pete's Beast, their original. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, look, 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 at, look at the label. Oh, my goodness. Look, it's been singed. That beast has singed it. That beast is out of control. Um, they started off with this one, but they right now have a range of four different whiskeys. You can see up in the top left, that's the original. Uh, Pete's Beast. Um, that's a 46% uh, ABV. And next to that, you get their batch strength version. And that's bottled at 52.1 ABV. And uh, the one with the beautiful uh, red labeling is their batch strength PX finish. And that comes in at a whopping 54.1% alcohol by volume and goodness. And as you can see on the bottom, as it says there, this is their newest edition. It's their 25-year-old Isla single malt, and that's at 52.2%. Now, this one says right on the label that it is an Isla malt. So I'm going to go on a limb here and say that one's definitely from Isla. Uh, but the other three are great. And uh, boy, where do we get these? They're so... Well, difficult may not be the word, but challenging. If there was a place, I just checked the LCBO this morning and, and you can't get anything from Pete's Beast at the LCBO. But if there was, there was only a place that you could go to or, or, or someone you can contact or, I don't know, a, 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 a club or something where you can talk to them and maybe they can source out this difficult to get whiskey. I wonder if there's anything like that around. If you're looking for something rare, don't, uh, don't be shy about contacting the Whiskey Concierge. They will definitely, definitely help you out. But 
enough of that stuff. Let's talk about today's offering. I'll show you a beautiful close-up of the bottle, the full-size bottle here, so you can see what's going on. Got the beast on the label. Uh, oh, my goodness, look at that label's been burnt too. That beast is going to have to be uh, tamed so it's not burning up everything. Actually, no, no, don't tame it. Let it go. Let's get that great taste going. So there it is, Pete's Beast. That's the full-size bottle, of course. Um, we are tasting from uh, the miniatures. Another good thing about the whiskey calendar, we give you full miniatures. No little generic bottles. Everything in the calendar, all 25 offerings are actually in the miniatures. And if you think that's easy to get, whew, you haven't tried to find all of these. But let's give it a taste. Oh, goodness. I love that sound. So there it is. Very light in color. So maybe not necessarily too, too old. I know they haven't added any color to it. Oh, mm. well, it's peated. So smoke, peat, more smoke. Definitely feels like you're standing on the shore of the ocean. Just looking at the waves washing up on the beach. Mm. And there's a touch of citrus there. I wonder if that's going to come through. Sweetness, smoke, peat. Mm. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Ooh. Oh. Definitely sea salt. And I've had kippers a few times. I'm not necessarily a big, huge fan, but it's in here. Um, where's that spice? Um, the peppery spice. Wow. <sighs> what a good mix. Now, on their label, they say it's an intensely heated uh, whiskey. Eh, I'm not sure I would say intensely. There's definitely peat. There's no mistaking it, but I don't think it's an Ardbeg Supernova or a Brook Laddie Octomore peated, but it's definitely more peated than, than a lot of peated whiskeys I've tasted in the past. And the finish, my, it just goes on forever. It's still there. It's, um, my goodness, I, I'm getting a hint of chocolate. You know, that good dark chocolate. And definitely some some pepper, some some spice there to uh, linger down your throat. My goodness. Mm. Mm -hmm. Another peated whiskey. Have I mentioned I like whis uh, peated whiskey? I like peat. I like this. I hope you like it too. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought. And we'll see you again tomorrow. Slanja.